Okay, so here's one more part if I if uh, you you continued on from part one. I'm just in the middle of uh, setting my uh, hard drive settings and integrated peripherals. So I've got my uh, first, second, and third boot vices. Uh, logo show. So, at this point, you're pretty much uh, set. I'm going to go ahead and see if it'll boot. Make sure it'll boot. And open up CPU-Z to make sure I do have BIOS version F8. Indeed, and everything's working fine. Luckily, I'm running an SSD, so it might be not quite as boring and long. It should boot fairly quickly. Make sure I have. Yeah, it looks like my first boot device was correct. So, if I open up CPU Z here. Hopefully you can see, click on mainboard, BIOS version F8. So that was a successful uh, BIOS update. And just for good measure, I do like to restart it, go back into my BIOS, and just double check that everything took and everything seems to be working okay the the, the USB um, on a lot of boards um, you may have problems running uh, USB keyboards in uh, DOS mode got talking and I forgot to hit delete to enter the BIOS so what I'm going to do now is hit Control F1. That that releases um, hidden settings. It is indeed version F8. Uh, my current status, the memory timings are correct. Seven eight seven twenty. Looks like all of my uh, memory is being uh, detected. My DOS keyboard, or my keyboard is working in DOS mode. My memory is set at uh, 12 times memory multiplier, which gives me a 1600 megahertz frequency. My timings are at 78720. My voltage for my DRAM is at 1.64. So that is a successful uh, update to a BIOS using QFlash. Most gigabyte boards made within the last five, maybe even six or seven years, uh, are equipped with QFlash. Go ahead and save and exit that, and uh, boot up. And I am officially now running BIOS version F8. In fact, I'll pause this. Let's see. You can see right there. P55 UD4P version F8. So, hopefully that helps just a little bit more um, if you want.
to update your BIOS and you'd rather look at an HD version than a, a 640 by 480 version of it. And I'll just let this go ahead and boot, I suppose. And make sure one more time. You can see right there, BIOS version F8. So, this has been a long tutorial on how to update your BIOS, but it sure would help me. It would have helped me a couple years ago when I didn't know what I was doing, and uh, hopefully it will help you. Different manufacturers have different methods, <coughs> Excuse me, but uh, most manufacturers now have a method you can use flash memory, um, and, and whatever you do, Try to avoid updating your BIOS from within Windows. Do it with flash memory um, through a built-in or downloaded utility from your motherboard's manufacturer's website and use the latest uh, uh, final version BIOS. Uh, there's no need to use uh, beta BIOSes, although I've done it. They, they uh, usually work, but uh, anyway. You guys have a great day. Hopefully uh, this uh, video or this series of videos will help someone out. Have a great day.